layman's guide to mindfulness if uh, we recap the last uh, three and four sessions so what we have understood in detail that there are we are seekers of happiness and in that journey of seeking happiness and attaining happiness we encounter with pleasures we realize pleasure is short-lived and still we continue we consider that pleasure is happiness then there was a second state of happiness which is satisfaction happiness <clears throat> which is which lasts longer than pleasure but still not the ultimate happiness i do some creative work i help uh, others and then I do my job with the creativity. I'm engaged in a creative pursuit in my life. <coughs> All these things give satisfaction. Then comes the value happiness. So my mind says, okay, I have done enough for me and I don't find that pleasure is a happiness. I have been creative throughout my life and still I feel that I'm still doing for myself maybe the reason because I'm doing everything for myself I'm not happy so let me help others financially economically socially uh, through knowledge and this is what we call the value happiness I create a value in my life and uh, in our educated society uh, this value happiness is considered as very important in social life in religious life and still still we find, we feel a sense of emptiness, a loneliness inside us. When we feel that sense of loneliness after experiencing pleasure happiness, satisfaction happiness and the value happiness, when the mind starts contemplating and thinking over life, that where I should go, what is the purpose of life? So there our masters come and they say there are only two directions in life. The one direction means shreyas, the other direction means prayers. So I take my mind and the life to one direction that is prayers, which means what is pleasant for me, what I like, I should do, what I dislike. That is what we have been doing under pleasure, happiness, uh, satisfaction, happiness, value, happiness. You see that? We continue to doing the same thing, expecting a different result. I go to one restaurant, the food is very good. After a few times, and I said, no, let me go to another. You see, I'm doing the same thing. I change the restaurant, but doing the same thing, seeking happiness and pleasure. Oh, no. What I like, I will do. So there the master says, no, there is a path of prayers. 
in the midst of life, find out what is good and right. What is good, right and real? Pleasure is not real. Same thing with the satisfaction, happiness. I get a wonderful job, I don't want to do it, so I pick up another job. I change my profession. I get another degree, one way of doing this. And still I'm not happy. So I just run after what I like. I start doing what I like. I escape from what I dislike. Then comes the third. So again, this is a prayer. So what is pleasant for me? And the same thing. I join a religious, not for profit organization, for benefiting others. And I see the conflict there amongst people in the society, in the not-for-profit. We always hear in the news that this not-for-profit organization, charity organization for the cancer, <coughs> has a big scam. We are frustrated. When the mind reflects these things in our life, then the master says, you, you have a different path now. Now you are a seeker. How come you are a seeker? Follow the path of Shreyas. What is Shreyas? What is right, real and good? <clears throat> How to find it? Move inside. Now educate the mind to become self-oriented. See that. Make the mind self-oriented, not other-oriented. The moment you make the mind self-oriented, the next question comes. Why we are moving the mind inside? So the master makes a big statement. Every master. What he says, peace is your essential nature. Happiness is within you. Love is within you. Now then how come I love others? Because when you discover that love in you and that love reflects in the mind, then it goes outside. The love manifests in relationship, peace manifests in relationship. And as you continue the journey behind peace, love, truth and wisdom, what do we find? We find our true nature. And what is our true nature? So the master says our true nature is Sat, Chit, Anand, Absolute Existence, Consciousness, Bliss. For the sake of understanding, once we discover that, it is an irreversible process. It cannot be reversed. Long back something happened. It cannot be reversed. <clears throat> Maybe 25, 30 years back. Uh, then what happened? I used to lie down on the bed and the consciousness there is. Okay. The body had a pain, but consciousness there inside says peace is your essential nature. You know, at present, I'm just citing an example, you are chasing mindfulness. How long you have to chase? Until, until what happens, the mindfulness will follow you. It cannot be under. You know, sometimes people say, how long I have to do, how many times? No. 
Our goal is to continue the journey until we experience that state. That state. That is the goal. That is the goal of the journey. So you see that I can summarize the entire understanding today during the four and five weeks we have understood we are seekers of happiness and because of ignorance our mind claims for us pleasure is happiness which is short-lived <coughs> So through society and culture, we know, oh, just follow the creative pursuit. Do your work <clears throat> on money, you will be happy. So that is satisfaction happiness. And still we find we are not happy. We like to change our job. We like to change our boss. We never think the boss will lay off. But there is a the biggest boss who laughs at you. The existence laughs at you. Why don't you discover happiness in doing the same, doing what you are doing? No, no, I don't like it. I dislike it. You see that? The moment your mind says, I dislike it, you follow the direction of the prayers. So the master says, oh, the life has two directions. One is the path of the prayers, what is pleasant, what I like, what I dislike. Ah, what gives me pain, what gives me pleasure. You co we continue into that um, conflict. Then another guy comes, he says, no, come on, join my not-for-profit. Join my charity organization. Work for others. We enjoy that. No doubt it's good. And after a few months, we realize, you see that? that all the people in that organization are fighting against each other in order to help others. They are still suffering. And then you get frustrated. So the frustration should show you the direction of the life. That is where the master comes. That is where the teachings of the Eastern wisdom comes. It says, oh, no, hold on. Don't blame your life. Don't blame anyone outside. Life has two directions. What is that pleasant? What is pleasant? What I like? What I dislike? That is what you have done. So master says, no, come on. There is another direction. It is the path of the Shreyas. What is right and real and good? where I can find, within yourself, the master says, and your mind is amazed, oh, I can find the peace within myself? My goodness, oh, I have never thought of it. <clears throat> and when you are committed and when you follow the path of the Shreyas, One day the mind is purified, it becomes a seeker, and it says, let me discover my true nature. And that true nature, that true nature is peace and happiness, love and wisdom. That is the key. And then I summarized in the end, and Oh, then how long I have to continue the practice? It is your true nature. And then you ask me again, how long I have to do it? It is your true nature. Did I not give you the answer? You have to practice until you discover your true nature. See that? You know, that, that mind becomes a seeker. In Eastern wisdom, uh, there is four S, four words. First is sadhak. Or you can take first as a sadhak. Sadhak means seeker. The second is sadhya. 
sadhya means what needs to be achieved, what is the goal of mindfulness. Goal of mindfulness is peace, relaxation, happiness. No, these are the <clears throat> primary goals. The ultimate goal is to discover your true nature. Uh, so you see sadha, seeker, sadhya, goal, sadhana, practice. And the fourth one is the Siddha. Buddha was a Siddha. Siddha means perfection. What is that perfection? You discover your true nature. So the, you see that the entire journey moves in four lines, four steps. You should know all the four. Sadhana. Do you know the practice and the principles? And do you have a clear understanding? Yes. Oh, are you committed to discover your nature, the ultimate truth? Yes, then I am a seeker. Oh, do I know my goal in meditation? I have to discover my true nature until I find it. I will continue the practice. What would be the result is the Siddha. I become a perfect. I, who knows it? Can I give you a certificate that you are perfect? No. You don't need a certification. You get a fundamental change inside. The mind perceives, my goodness, I had been running after doing the same thing with, without no, expecting the different result. And now I did something different. I moved the mind within. I discovered. So every time what happens? Can I tell you, you, you have reached to that stage? No. In the beginning, yes, I can point you out. But the time will come whether you open your eyes or you close your eyes. You see the spark of consciousness that continues its flame rising up. And that flame of awareness constantly tells you, come on, what it tells you, I'm the peace, I'm the happiness, I'm the love, I'm the wisdom. You're there. <clears throat> you know, if the, you are women, then uh, there's no one to tell you whether you are pregnant or not. You know it. What happens? Conception, by regular practice, mind conceives what? It gets a spark of that consciousness, conception. As you continue the practice, there comes the perception. No, I'm getting, I'm, I'm going there, I'm going there. I felt today. Third sensation. That is the goal. <clears throat> so close your eyes. Let us start our journey today. Being comfortable, or you can say, let me raise my awareness. Let me become self-oriented. That's another way to pick up. So looking at the neck joint, you have started looking yourself. Why? Because the mind claims you are the body. So okay, let me start with the body. So, okay. Look at the shoulder joints, feel the sensation, being comfortable and when you, be, uh, when you are comfortable means you experience some sensation and you also experience a sense of steadiness. How simple is that?
look at the hip joint, feel the sensation, being comfortable and steadiness, knee joints. Now see when your mind gives a direction. So the mind is keeping that awareness. What is that awareness? Uh, awareness of stress and prayers. So mind is fully aware. I have been running throughout my life for happiness in disguise by the pleasure, disguised by the satisfaction, disguised by value, charity. No, I have to find myself. That is why I am on a journey. So the entire body So what is our uh, understanding today? Being comfortable means not only we raise awareness, but we experience, we experience being self-oriented. You see that? We experience being self-oriented. Now go further. Oh, but the mind claims. You see that what happens? Mind claims. Okay, you want to go inside, but there are a lot of thoughts. What should I do? You see, what should I do? A lot of thoughts. And who says it? Who says it? Mind. To whom? You say you. It means your mind claims you are the mind. You know it. You are not the mind. You are not the mind. Still, you know, still, your mind, because of habit, because of habits becomes mind you become mind see that <coughs> so there comes <coughs> there comes the master says come on every thought is related to others Oh, so I can leave it. Yes. That is where the practice of being carefree comes. Thoughts are coming? Yes. Let it be, let it come and let it go. Why? Oh, they make me other oriented. It is like It is like 
our mind is doing every day, every moment. I want to go to the kitchen, I go to the kitchen. I don't land up in the living room. The mind may be pushing. No. In thought also, I just become aware. Oh, no, 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 I need not to talk about this. And even in the feeling, oh, no, that feeling pertains to others, so no. You see that? That's another way of being carefree. In day-to-day -day life, no, it means my honey is causing it. Oh, that is also other-oriented. Why to worry? That is the real meaning of let thought, feeling, sensation, let it come, let it go, let it stay, let it be. <coughs> when you move into that state, you realize it is so easy, I have to do nothing for self-discovery. Okay, then what is next? We have our directions, Sreyas versus prayers. So we contemplate a bit and create a right intention. You know, normally what happens? The teacher gives you have a right intention. It doesn't become your intention. And every time you come, the master, ah, the teacher beautifies that intention. You like it and you forget it. See that? No change. So, so no change if teacher gives you the right intention, yet it changes also. It depends on, depends on the student, depends on the seeker. But anyhow, so we contemplate a bit. What is that contemplation? The life has two direction. I have been doing the same thing. Have been doing the same thing again and again, expecting different result. So the master says, Path of it is the path of prayers. Change it to Shreyas. What is Shreyas? Self discovery. I will discover. So, what intention? Be, what is the right intention? I will discover peace and happiness within me. Simple. So just. Just what you do, repeat it, looking inside the heart, looking inside the head, looking inside the head and the heart, Okay, I have done it. So mind says, okay, you have done it. What next? Where is the peace and happiness? You know, that is how the mind asks you. You have to, there comes, there comes a true seeker. True seeker has patience, determination, uh, what is known as commitment, readiness, for what? For moving deep within. How it comes if we drop 
all disturbances. You see that? I told you dropping all the disturbances coming from outside. And here body is also outside. Body is not me. Oh, let me, so, let me settle it. Let me settle it. Do not settle a score. Do not settle a score with the body. Understand what it means? Don't try to push the body. Don't force the body. I will sit in lotus pose for the first time for an hour and achieve success in meditation. So it doesn't remain peace meditation. It becomes pain meditation. It becomes stretching meditation. So never make your journey pain meditation. You see that? And now you can really appreciate, your mind will appreciate <coughs> this step. We are simply asking the body, the, okay, I'm not the body. So we are asking the mind to settle the body. Look at the head and the neck. So when you look at the head and the neck, be there. Why I'm asking be there and wait there to discover to discover sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Question is, how come? When mind starts moving within, what happens? <clears throat> when the mind starts moving within, leaves the body outside, the body settles down one, and the mind experiences sensation, relaxation and stillness in the body. Look at the right arm. <coughs> So when you look at the right arm, yes, you feel the sensation, relaxation and stillness. Look at the left arm, be there and wait there. Normally what happens when you are not a genuine seeker, even if you are doing the practice for years together, the mind thinks of it. When you are a genuine seeker, <clears throat> the mind experiences. Mind is aware. You see the difference? Look at the chest and the belly. Feel the sensation, relaxation and stillness. Look at the right leg. Sensation, relaxation and stillness. Look at the left leg. <coughs> Sensation, relaxation and stillness. Look at the entire body, sensation, relaxation and stillness. Normally what happens if we are not a true seeker, 
Oh, we say, okay, that is done. I feel relaxation. You are very good teacher. So let me move ahead. <clears throat> that doesn't work in mindfulness. One master. said to his student, walk on. Every time the student used to ask him, I feel very good, I feel why because discovery means not only I am in peace, it is not I am in peace, it is I am the peace. So the master says, why walk on? I am the happiness. Look inside, check. What mind says? Uh, yes, I am in peace and calm. And what is our discovery? What is our goal? I am the peace. There is a difference? Yes. <clears throat> Walk on? Yes. So, when the seeker you see that? Again, I'm using the word seeker. When, the, when a person is a seeker, one, and when the seeker enjoys going deeper within, the master says, look at the breath, Just play, fun, and joy. What is that? Three-pointed awareness of the breath. Look at the breath. The breath goes in and out. Feel the sensation of the breath. The second point of awareness. Do not change the rate and the rhythm of the breath. Okay. Okay, Master. The mind of a seeker says, Okay, Master, I'm good. You are telling me to do nothing? Yes. You get an idea of doing nothing. You know who does nothing? The mind. And the mind reaches to a state of purity. One. It reaches to the state of purity. It lives within. It moves within deeper and deeper. How? Behind your three-pointed awareness of the breath. How simple it is to understand that part. When you are a seeker. You see that? If you are not a seeker, then it is the most difficult part. What is that? Look at the breath. 
Feel the sensation of the breath. Oh, that is the second point. Your, ma your mind says, and you say yes. And the third point, oh, do, do not change the rate and the rhythm of the breath. Oh, what a play. What a fun. What a joy. I'm asking you a very simple thing. What is that? Just a reminder. Seeker means sadhaka. In a, there is a four words starts with S, sadhak. Okay, then what is the goal? You just know it. When you're driving your home, you don't repeat it again and again. I'm going to my house, I'm going to my house. No. You know it. Okay, do you know it? If you know it, <clears throat> we lose that awareness. You know where you we lose that awareness. Not to lose that awareness and confirm and confirm we continue with breath awareness today. In the background you are aware. Not to lose, we continue breath awareness. Understand. So we understood the four words, sadhak, seeker. Second S, sadhya goal. Third S, practice. So the Sanskrit word is sadhana. Fourth, perfection means who, who is perfect? Only self. So that is the state of Siddha. <clears throat> Looking at the breath, feeling the sensation, no change, in the state of sensation, relaxation and stillness, being comfortable and carefree, what happens? One day, your state, the mind will experience is irreversible. Irreversible. I'm the peace and happiness. Once it comes from inside, it is an irreversible. How long I have to do? The moment the mind is asking that question, it is still outside. Mind is asking how long, how many hours. The mind is still us, mind is still outside. What you are saying? Yes, because the mind had been doing the same thing again and again, again and again in time, 
space with cause and effect. You see that? That is why I say do nothing. That is why I say my friend do nothing now. Yes, do nothing now. So when you do nothing, just being, learn from experience, everything happens. You are in the state of doing nothing. You may experience the spark deep within with experience of inner experience of inner calm, peace. Breath awareness. There is a three-pointed awareness of the breath, sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Being comfortable and carefree. And it is just a play, a fun, and a joy. you get a glimpse of Shreyas means what it means what it means by changing the direction from prayers to Shreyas. Shanti Shanti Om Shanti 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 That is why the Buddha says the Buddha Sharanam Gachami that is why the Buddha says, you see that? Sangham Sharanam Gachami Dhammam Sharanam Gachami So he is talking of the same thing in three different ways, in the midst of diversity, the duality outside. I am one inside. What is that one? Buddham. I'm the awakened one. What is Dhammam? That is my true nature. Om Shanti 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 
bring your awareness on the right hand, your awareness on the left hand. Lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside. Let us share our experiences before we say goodbye. Yes, sir, Samir, how are you? Fine, sir. The wetness of eyes have become double. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> sir, eyes have become more wider after doing my teacher. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, it has become, there is a more clarity. <clears throat> more clarity, sir. I am, uh, my eyesight has become more sharp before I did my teacher and now. Oh, very good. That is the... Things, things very clearly now. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Very, that is the right very, time to look at your honey. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make your eyes too wider so that you start looking at two honeys. Then there will be problem. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sir, I am afraid of all the women. <laughs> oh, that's very good. Yeah, 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 that's very good. So, how are you, Anne? <laughs> I feel fine. Calm. Feel fine, good. And how are you, beautiful women? Don't worry, Samir is not looking at you. Yeah. It was so deep today. Yes. Very nice. I knew that. You will say that because you have become a seeker. Understand. Commitment. I told you, you came a little late. So we discussed about 4S. Seeker. No, I heard 4S. Oh, you heard. Seeker. Sadhya means goal. Third S. Sadhana means practice. Fourth S, Siddha. So that is really good. Wonderful, my friends. We will meet again next.